Long, looking for Eleanor Dale, who goes to ground, but no foul call. Now Dressley for Minnesota. Picked off by Reagan Robbie. Nebraska looking for the counter. Bell Zeal. Couple of defenders around her. She decides to lay it off. Peterson now out wide to Gwen Lane. Two defenders closing in. Lane's left-footed cross finds Weber. Weber's header. Nebraska take the lead with just two minutes remaining. Surely that's the moment for Nebraska. Gwen Lane's cross finds Sarah Weber. And it's in the back of the net. The moment they needed, they find it with two minutes left. That was as slick as putting butter on the roll. The dish coming from Gwen Lane. And it perfectly, again, we talked about it tonight. Sarah Weber has been the best at the headers. And it rhymes, too, because it sinks together. Weber, again, the headers don't just bounce off of her. They glide off. The back line of Minnesota just having a lapse. A free header in the box for Sarah Weber. She does not miss those. She buries it. Nebraska with the lead. Under two minutes to play. It's exactly what they dreamt of late in this one. It seemed like it was bound to happen. Nebraska had been the better team on the attack. Minnesota had some good stretches in the second half of attack. But Nebraska, when Frank and Robbie initially took that ball and worked her way toward the attacking third, I think something inside all of these fans in this stadium here tonight knew something was going to happen. Nebraska taking as much time as they can on that throw in on the far side. Referee has to stop the clock because he doesn't want Nebraska to waste the time there and it's out for another Husker throw. He's going to watch his clock closely. Just over a minute remaining. It's Sarah Weber's goal, the only one in this match, the opening goal, and it could be the winner if Nebraska can see it out for just 65 more seconds. Ball played long by Plashko. It's kitchen sink time for Minnesota. They have to throw everyone forward if they want to try and find the equalizer. Cleared away by Anglum. It looks like it came off a gopher player. It did. Nebraska with a throw in. 40 seconds left. They're licking their chops right now. Now I've said it once and I will say before. Nebraska has struggled in this spot. Even in the last minute. Every second. Every throw. Every touch is vital that it is completed at 110% correctness. 20 seconds remain. Nebraska with a throw on the far side. Surely this is it. Surely they have done it and taken all three points here. Sarah Weber with the goal in this one. Just two minutes left in the game, and Sarah Weber puts one in the back of the net. It's over from Barbara Hibner Field in elation from the Husker team as they steal a result in the 98th minute. Nebraska beats Minnesota 1-0. An absolutely gutsy performance, Josh. Nebraska, until the final moments in this game, just kept throwing everything forward, kept trying to find that goal, and oh man, it came from Sarah Weber in the final minutes of the game. Here's the replay, Gwen Lane's pass, and the header by Weber, that is about as slick as a connection, and as perfect as a connection you can have on a game-winning goal like that. And the pieces came together, really. Both teams, you could tell, they wanted to start out Big Ten play, getting that first win. There's no doubt the desires were just as much as the other team. But at the end of the day, Nebraska led the attack. They led the shots department, the shots on goal department. And really, they actually seemed more aggressive in a sense. Yeah, and if you're looking at this from a holistic sense, Josh, you have to look at this and say, for Nebraska, this is such a good momentum starter. Going into the Big Ten season, you take all three points in.